Hey YouTube, um, making a little update video. I'm going to talk about the inline CO2 atomizer that I've had running on this tank for about a week or two now. I um, also just want to bring up that I'm going to be getting some red lilies in from uh, Peabody's Paradise because I won the Freebie Friday drawing, so uh, that's pretty exciting. And I'll make a video when I get that package in. Um, but right now, Everything in the tank's doing pretty good. Um, I'm having the issue with algae still. Uh, so my question for you guys is, how long should I run my lights? Right now I have 260 watts of light. I can cut that in half to where it would be 130 watts. Um, I'm currently running the 260 watts for 8 hours a day and I have my CO2 come on two hours before the lights and then they turn the CO2 turns off one hour before the lights turn off so what I've been thinking is cutting the lights down to about six hours and then just keep it where the CO2 comes on two hours before the lights and then goes off an hour before the lights um, so let me know what you guys think about that um, pearl weed it's going crazy on both sides um, there are some black beard algae growing in there which I do not like because it's disgusting looking um, as you can see there's a fine mist coming out of the output of my canister filter that is from the inline CO2 atomizer uh, probably can't see it very well but back here that is my 300 watt inline heater and then below it can't really tell but the atomizer is back there and uh, it does an excellent job and I definitely recommend it for anyone who's been uh, checking it out it's nice not having a ceramic diffuser inside the tank just one less thing you have to look at and the atomizer does a much better job of di diffusing the CO2 into the tank and uh, actually saves you CO2. Um, but nothing else is really going on in this tank. Just keeping up with the EI dosing method. It really helps with the plant growth. And one last thing before I end it is let's see if I can get him on video. Right there, a little baby guppy. Kind of hard to see. He's swimming around, which is uh, really weird because I only have this female guppy in here. I haven't had a male guppy in this tank for probably over um, two months, I want to say. So it's kind of strange that uh, a little baby appeared out of nowhere. I mean, I don't have a problem with it, it's just kind of weird. If you guys have any questions or comments, uh, just let me know.